Getting your kids to brush their teeth can be difficult and getting them to sit still is sometimes even more difficult, but these two challenges combined can be a recipe for pure disaster. Five-year-old Celeste was brushing her teeth when disaster struck. Her father said he usually makes her sit still while brushing her teeth, but this time Celeste was bouncing up and down. Her father told her to stop, but when he turned to talk to his wife, he heard Celeste scream. She had fallen forward and the toothbrush impaled the back of her throat. She was rushed to the hospital where doctors performed an emergency surgery, saying she was lucky the toothbrush did not sever a blood vessel. Celeste is now recovering and back to her happy self, but this serves as a cautionary tale to parents to ensure their kids are being careful when brushing their teeth. And precisely because of this, the American Academy of Pediatrics Dentistry tells parents don't let your kids, especially under the age of seven, brush their teeth without being supervised because, Drew, you're an ENT by training. These things can and do happen. <laughs> Yeah, your kid, when they're bouncing around, I mean, they shouldn't have anything in any of their cavities on the head and neck. Kids bouncing around with a Q-tip in their ear, kids doing something with their finger in their nose and bouncing around, and, of course, anything to do with the throat. If they're using a spoon, a fork, a knife, a toothbrush, and they're bouncing around, they fall, they can impale their throat like this child did, impaled her so soft palate, which necessitated closure of that mucosal laceration, she's going to do fine, yeah, though. Yeah, so functionally she'll be okay. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's a soft palate injury, and they probably put a stitch through the muscle and through the mucosa. We know how well the oral cavity heals. When you have your tonsils out or your wisdom teeth out, that heals really quickly and well. But boy, is that, that gets real close to the carotid artery oh, back there. there. And but it was blunt. I mean, the chance... Luckily, of, yes, yes, it was but blunt. But a sharp object that had been a fork or something like that, which can happen too. That does yeah. happen, then, yes. Then right there in that, in that anatomic site, she could have gotten her carotid, yes.